Hello, everyone. Dr. Nathan Bryan here. You know, one of the many questions I get is, can nitric oxide help manage high blood pressure? And nitric oxide is a vasodilator. In fact, mechanism of action and what led to a Nobel Prize was the discovery that nitric oxide is a vasodilator in the cardiovascular system. And fast forward 40 years, we now know that nitric oxide, that a deficiency of nitric oxide is the primary driver of hypertension or high blood pressure. And where does that come from? Well, we know from data. Again, 50% of the people that are given antihypertensive medicine, prescription medications that treat their high blood pressure, don't respond with lower blood pressure. Because these class of drugs, whether they're ACE inhibitors, ARBs, what we call angiotensin receptor blockers, calcium channel antagonists, diuretics, beta blockers, all those are affecting the high blood pressure in different mechanisms and different systems. But yet 50% of the people that are given those drugs don't respond with better blood pressure. And the reason for that is is because it's a lack of nitric oxide production. And those drugs do not affect nitric oxide production at all. So it makes sense. They shouldn't respond with better blood pressure because it's not affecting the underlying cause of their high blood pressure. So we all have a finite amount of blood, a volume of blood, usually five to six liters of blood pumping through a finite number of blood vessels throughout the entire body. When we make nitric oxide, we can dilate the blood vessels. So now we have that same volume of fluid that can dilate the blood vessels and manage blood pressure. If we can't make nitric oxide, the blood vessels don't dilate. Now we have that same volume of blood pumping through smaller blood vessels through basic physics that leads to an increase in in pressure. Same volume, smaller blood vessels, higher pressure. If we can normalize nitric oxide production, support nitric oxide production, restore nitric oxide production, then we can dilate those blood vessels and reduce blood pressure. Central aortic pressure, systemic blood pressure, those are the drivers of the number one killer of men and women worldwide, which is cardiovascular disease. So if you currently have an unsafe elevation in blood pressure, which is three out of four Americans, then consider nitric oxide Take steps to restore nitric oxide production, get rid of fluoride, eliminate mouthwash, wean off antacids, physical exercise, balanced diet in moderation, and when all else fails, if your body can't make nitric oxide, we have products that do it for you. Thank you very much.